hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we will see how we can create the test cases in azure devops so there are multiple options given in the azure devops by which you can create your test cases first of all we will talk about those options and then later on we will see how we can create i will talk about what is the best or, or you can say the best practice to create a test case in it so if you click on this plus button i can go inside the work item and you will see an option to create a test case if you click on this this is a window you will see we will create the test case later on but let's talk about the different options first of all like by which we can create the test case so this is the first option now the second option is you can go to the board okay and once you go to the board you will have this option new work item again and from there also you can create a test case so don't get confused if someone is creating from here and you are you are kind of struggling now the third option is you can go to the test plan directly in the test plan you will have this option here new test case again you will see the same window same way even in the test suite also you will have an option to create a new test case okay so these are the different ways from where you can create your test cases now let's talk about the best practices okay so best practice is your test case should always be linked to a user story right now that user story should be assigned to you or maybe the development team now you can search that user story first of all say user story if you have the id well and good otherwise you can say whatever iteration you are in let's say iteration 3 okay i don't have any user story in 3 and I don't have in four also. Add. Okay, in Spring 2, I have a user story, right? Now, since I need to work on this user story, I'm giving an, I'm taking an example, right? Only, but in your case, you will definitely have a user story in the current sprint. So let's say this is my current sprint, and I have this user story with me. I'll open this user story. I'll scroll down, and this is another way. Okay, add link new item instead of task you can say test case and you can give the name of the test case so let's say i want to validate the login functionality this is my test case okay as soon as i have written this it gave me the same window which i be uh, saw previously right but the only change here is now we have this parent and child relationship it means we are maintaining the traceability that's why this is the best practice you should follow and then you can since you have this title available with you you can assign to the respective members to whom you want to assign this test case you can tag your test case let's say it's a positive test case or something like that or you can say it's in it's it has to be executed in sprint 3 even though you have uh, created in sprint 2 some kind of so you, you can create multiple tags to to track it right and then you have the steps and action items you can add a steps let's say open browser or something whatever right uh, user is able to user is able to open the browser and in same way you can add other steps also right mm enter url that is able to enter the url or application should should launch something like that whatever you want to write okay then enter password and all so you can add your steps you can add your expected result and not go in that detail okay if you wanted to attach some screenshot just for your reference you can click here and you can have attachment here you can add attachments here go to steps you will see this and let's say i'm saving this now my test case is ready if i go back to my query or run this or even if you don't know you can just go to the user story again you will see one test case should be there validate the login functionality okay so this test case is now associated to one of the requirement that's a good practice you should link your test case in this way okay 
Now, as soon as you will create the test case, you will have an option to see the history as well, like who created this test case and when created this test case, who whom it been assigned. So entire history will be maintained here. Attachments you can see here, links you can see here, and steps anyways you can see here, right? So this is how you can create one test cases. Okay, you can create any test case in uh, in Azure DevOps. You can add it also here. Okay, sometimes we we create test case in test plan, and few of the folks get confused like how to edit here. Okay, so you can right click here. You will have an option to edit test case in grid, and you will get an option to edit here as well. Okay, once it is done, let's say something something something. Save it. Now the change set up. So this is how also you can edit your test case in the test plan. Okay. So that's it. I think this is enough for this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video.